Hey, today I've prepared three brand new Capture One tutorials. First, you'll see how to auto-adjust levels in layers with a single click. Next, you'll learn how to select only the iris using the new AI masks. Finally, I'll show you how to automatically exclude skin and hair from AI masks. But first, a quick announcement. We've dropped the prices on Black Friday at our store. This is your chance to get the best-selling Capture One styles, courses and books at unbeatable discounts up to 85% off. This year I've prepared three amazing Black Friday bundles. The Expert Mastery Collection includes all my Capture One courses and books, including the newest Capture One best practices and Capture One cheat sheets. The Expert Advantage Collection contains all my Capture One styles and tools, including the newest adaptive styles and next-gen styles. Finally, I have prepared a complete collection of all my Capture One styles, courses, books and tools. You'll get access to over 860 styles and 16 hours of video lessons and Capture One tutorials. Individual products are also on sale. For example, until December 1st, you can take my Capture One Expert course for half the regular price. Plus, with the Expert course, you'll get free access to the upcoming Deep Dive into Match Look and AI Masking video course. Ok, now back to the tutorials. Let's start with Auto Levels in Layers. As you know, we can't use Auto Levels directly on a layer because it doesn't support layers, but there's an easy fix. First, Auto Adjust Levels on the main image, then right-click and select Move Image Adjustments to New Layer. This will move the auto levels correction to a new field layer. Also, if you use macOS, you can easily create an Apple script to perform all these actions with a single click. I'll show you how to write scripts at the end of this video, but you can also download this script from my blog post. Now, let's see how to select only the iris of the eyes using the new AI masks. It's pretty tricky to batch adjust eyes because AI masks select the entire eye, but we only need to adjust the iris. Applying adjustments to the entire eye can make the whites of the eye unnaturally gray or too contrasty. Here is a typical result you will get by adjusting the entire eye. For adaptive styles, I found a curious solution to this problem by mixing the eye mask with the Luma range. The feature of the Luma range mask is that it adapts to our eye masks, so we can use it in the style to set a precise brightness range that will be affected by our adjustments. I think this brightness range works best. As you can see, the adjustments now mainly affect the iris, making the editing look way more natural. Finally, let's see how to mask everything except the skin and hair. First, set all the check marks in the people masking tool and create a new AI mask. You'll probably get an uneven mask in the area of the hair. Let's fix it by using refine mask. And now we're also going to feather the mask. So we have got an even skin and hair mask. All we need to do is invert it. Now let's see how we can automate all these actions with Capture One scripts. Even if you have no experience in writing scripts, you can just ask the AI to create them. I'm going to use Claude because I think it's more advanced than ChatGPT in the sense of coding, but you can get a working script with any of them. First, we need to set up a shortcut for the mask people action because we don't have that command in the scripting dictionary yet. I'm going to set it to Shift plus M. Now let's ask Claude to develop a Capture One script that uses this shortcut on all selected images and then refines, feathers and inverts each mask. Once it's done, it should rename layers on all the images and display the message processing completed.
To make sure that Claude uses the actual information about Capture One scripts, I'm going to include a description of the refine feather and invert commands from the Capture One dictionary. Oh, I forgot to specify the refine and feather values. Let's use 100 for refine and 10 for feather. Okay, the script is ready. Now we need to compile and save it. Let's test it in Capture One. It works, now you can quickly mask everything but skin and hair on your images. You'll find this and many other free scripts in my post. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our Black Friday deals.